A great day for Columbia. Early in the game, Yale aerials into trouble as Cusero intercepts for Columbia and lugs the pigskin back 15 yards. At the half, Columbia trails 13 to nothing, but the Lions rally as Rosides' pass is captured by Hampton and the Lions run wild. He roars through old Eli's 11 to pay dirt. Now the Lions are on a rampage. Gene Rosides starts for the end, decides to pass but can't find a receiver. Gene keeps in motion. Now he's set. There goes a 60-yard heave to Emil Ledico, and the Lions cage the Bulldog. Way down south in Dixie, it's the rambling Rex and the Greenies. Hoot gets going with power to spare. He smashes through center, shakes off tacklers, heads for the coffin corner, and rings up one for Tulane. Hoot packs it again for Tulane. He's hit hard and fumbles it in the air. Bob Blake grabs it, and Georgia Tech is ready to ramble. On a fake end run, Holsinger shoots a pass to Kilzer, and Georgia Tech is on a touchdown parade. Tulane fights back against heavy odds. The Greenies' pass is blocked, speared by the Ramblers, and streaked down the field for another touchdown. The first play of the game and the first play of his college career. Navy vet Bill Colella gets away on a run to make football history. He sprints through the whole Illinois team and pounds the dirt for 76 yards to a touchdown. The only goal of the game. It's a big day for Notre Dame, but Illinois is not dismayed. Bill Butkovich is in there pitching. It goes to Heiss, who runs it down almost to the Notre Dame line with a good chance to tie the score. The Irish hold, and Illinois is stopped on the one-yard line. Too many fumbles is Illinois' trouble, and the Irish win seven to nothing. The Huskies get going early in the game. There's a forward by Stone. It's rescued standing up, and Washington leads six to nothing. Now the Trojans get going, and it's an end run by Tanhill that's good for 35 yards before the Huskies climb down. There's a pass, and Southern Cal is panning for pay dirt. Goal to go. The Trojans smash through for a touchdown. Score seven to six as the Huskies fight desperately. They take to the air. There's a forward. It's intercepted by Morris, but the Trojan attack is stopped, and they're forced to boot to Washington. It's a fake kick, and the Trojans are fooled as Dash fires to hunger for a touchdown pass that wins for the Huskies. Purdue's Bob DeMoss shoots a high flyer, 40 yards to Bill Canfield for a Boilermakers touchdown. <laughs> Boilermakers ball. The classy DeMoss again. He rifles it, and it's good for a 35-yard gain before Ohio's Klein shows the lads how to tackle. Out of the T formation comes Cody, and he smashes for a Purdue touchdown. <laughs> Final period. Buckeyes ball. Paul Doherty, third string freshman halfback, fires one to Bud Kessler, and Ohio State breaks into the scoring column. Purdue keeps on the march. Cody smashes the Ohio line behind terrific blocking. He gallops 40 yards for another Purdue touchdown. But Ohio fights back. Doherty on the business end of a 30-yard heave. Ohio State scores the final touchdown as Gandhi laterals to Verdova, who goes over. Navy, out to protect its unbeaten record, faces the fighting Irish. Notre Dame's Dancewitz fires an aerial to Bob Scugland, and it's good, deep in Navy territory. Now Ruggiero rams off tackle, and it's a Notre Dame touchdown as the first period ends. Again, Dancewitz forwards. And there it goes. 
Pete Williams intercepts and returns 20 yards before Bill Walsh brings him down. Now Smith gets set for an aerial. He rifles it, but Bill Leonard intercepts on the run, and he's on a rampage heading for home. But he's not in the clear. Williams stages a sensational tackle, and it's Notre Dame six, Navy nothing at the half. Notre Dame's ball. Dancer West passes. It caroms off right into the hands of Navy's Clyde Scott. He's as fleet as a fox and too fast for the Irish. Now it's all tied up, six all. Now here's the year's most disputed play. A pass by Dantzowicz to Colella. He makes for the goal but is tackled by Manissi and is called no score by the officials who ruled the ball did not cross the line. Here's the play repeated in slow motion. With 20 seconds of the game left, Dantzowicz passes. It's gathered in almost on the goal line by Colella. Manissi tackles. Look closely, is the ball over the line? Judge for yourself. After seeing these pictures, 40 nationally known sports writers were almost unanimous in upholding the official decision. No touchdown for Notre Dame. Wolverine's ball. There's Pete Elliott unleashing a long forward. It's intercepted by Pridey, who smashes back into payoff territory. Buckeye's ball. Doherty gets the pigskin and fires hard to Watson, and Ohio State threatens. A field goal by Max Schnitzer puts the Buckeyes ahead three to nothing. Last period, Elliott takes the sky route with Fonda on the receiving end, and now Michigan turns the table. Fonda again, and he's over with a last-minute touchdown for Michigan. The old oaken bucket is filled to the brim with joy as the Hoosiers trim the Boilermakers. Raimondi's pass is nabbed by George Taliaferro, the Hoosiers' great Negro star, and Indiana is on the warpath. Raimondi, a Hoosier transplanted from Brooklyn, spots a receiver and fires. Klazuski takes it in the end zone and is good despite Purdue Tackler's rebound. Purdue fights desperately. There's DeMoss ready to pass. Off it goes. But Raimondi intercepts and the Hoosier hot shot burns up the gridiron. Now Raimondi leaps, passes, and is good to Mihalovic for a 26-0 score. One hundred and two thousand packed the municipal stadium with President Truman heading a great turnout of celebrities. With the score 7-0 in Army's favor, Blanchard blasts off tackle and through the Navy line to boost the cadets to 13 points. Army again. Glenn Davis drives through tackle and breaks through Navy secondary. Navy's Clyde Scott is close, but Davis out sprints him for the third Army touchdown in the first period. Now it's Navy's turn. Smith, surrounded, fades and shoots to Clyde Scott. There he goes with Glenn Davis hot on the warpath. It's a Navy touchdown. Score, Army 20, Navy 7 at the half. Smith again. He gets one away, but Doc Blanchard intercepts and pounds the turf for his third score of the game and his 19th touchdown of the season. The Middies keep on firing against one of the greatest football teams of all times, but they lose the classic 32 to 13.